hey guys what's going on it's jordan welcome back to the channel thank you for stopping by so today i want to do a video about an old laptop i bought back in 2013 from walmart it's a little acer aspire one laptop i got it for maybe like 250 bucks so at the time when i purchased it it was a quick cheap little laptop for being 10 years old pretty much the performance right now is lackluster and when i purchased that laptop back then to me that was a pretty quick laptop uh, i was able to surf the internet watch youtube videos uh, i was able to do a bunch of different things with it and so basically i just wanted to test out and see if i'm able to basically upgrade the performance on it so i'm going to go ahead and show you a little b-roll of basically me taking apart the laptop because number one with it being so old pretty much the pace that was on the cpu was pretty much caked off uh it was all corroded and kind of like flaking apart so i wanted to go ahead and add some of that now i was waiting on some parts to come in so basically long story short i upgraded this with an ssd so i went from a hdd to an ssd which was a crucial 500 gigabyte ssd uh kind of an older ssd but it still did the job number one number two i also wanted to put some more ram in this so long story short it came with two gigabytes of ram now i did at one point purchase four two four gigabytes of ram for that thing so it had eight at one point i wound up just buying an eight gigabyte stick to add to the four gigabyte stick that was already in there so i would have 12 gigabytes now was it worth upgrading an old laptop like this like i said originally it came with an Intel Celeron CPU 847 BGA chip, which is an integrated graphic two core at 1.1 gigahertz. It came with two gigabytes of RAM and a 320 gigabyte HDD. Unfortunately, the CPU is going to have to stay because number one, it's soldered to the motherboard. It is a BGA CPU and no upgrades for this can be found currently. Now, I did kind of cross-reference that whole motherboard, and there were some other ones that I could put in its place. Um, I think at most I would be able to upgrade it with a Intel Celeron 877 CPU, which is 1.7 gigahertz, if I remember correctly, and it's still two core. So, like I said, I went ahead and I upgraded this with a crucial 500 gigabyte SSD and another 8 gigabyte stick of ram on top of the four gigabyte stick that i already had purchased which was a little while back so let's go ahead and see the boot up time and stuff like that on this computer signing into the desktop screen and loading up the web browsers so before putting in the ssd and the extra ram so these were the startup and boot times you're looking at 23.34 seconds from power on to the basically like sign in for the desktop screen and then from signing in to the desktop screen took about 16.38 seconds so going in from there basically once i'm signed into the desktop screen we went ahead and opened up a web browser so i used firefox at the time of this recording so from starting up a web browser it was 6.39 seconds so not necessarily quick uh, I guess maybe not necessarily slow, but it definitely did take its time getting to basically opening up any sort of web browser, signing in, or turning on the computer. Now, after upgrading the RAM and the SSD, like I said, I already had a 4 gigabyte, plus I think there was actually one of the original 1 gigabyte sticks in there, so 5 gigabytes total, plus the 320 gigabyte HDD that was already in it. So after upgrading it to 12 gigabytes of RAM and the solid state drive, so the startup or the boot up time for that was 13.48 seconds. Signing into the desktop took 3.57 seconds. And starting up a web browser took 3.48 seconds. So as we can tell, my times overall got quicker at startup opening up web browsers unfortunately like i said the downside being unable to upgrade the cpu i did run some benchmarks on this little laptop that i had and they're not spectacular honestly i'm going to go ahead and show you some of that 
but I did do some before and after screenshots of before I upgraded and after I upgraded. Really didn't do a whole lot. Um, basically, like I said, I kind of did a little bit of research on the BGA chips. Uh, they're not, I guess they're not easily as replaceable as like the LGA chips, like what I have on my desktop back here, which is an 1151. I currently have an i3-9100F. So it's a four core, 3.2 gigahertz. Uh, I believe it does a like an overclock at something like, I think 4.1 or 4.2. So it's pretty decent. I'm able to run Lightroom Photoshop. I use that computer basically to do all of my video editing on DaVinci Resolve. And I actually have really no issues with that. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM and a solid state drive. So unlike that computer sitting behind me and most every other desktop, these older style, and I'm not sure if the newer laptops are still the BGA style chip, but as far as I can tell, the older ones like the Acer Aspire 1 laptop sitting behind me was a BGA, so basically it used a bunch of little solder balls to get soldered onto the motherboard. Um, I watched some videos. You can do it if you have the correct tools. I'm not going to attempt that. So, like I mentioned, uh, it's basically just going to sit in there and it just kind of sucks. Uh, and so I honestly don't think it would be worth it to even pay somebody to upgrade it for me because, like I said, the only thing I could find, which was at the time, uh, the only thing that I think you could probably slap in there is another two core 1.7 gigahertz. And honestly, I, you might get a little bit more power out of it, but I, I really don't think that it's going to be worth it all really to invest in upgrade in that. I might as well as just buy a brand new laptop. So in conclusion, after upgrading and right now, a 10 year old laptop, uh, and all would I say upgrading an old laptop like this is worth it? So honestly, yes and no. And if you bought one a couple of years ago and just had it laying around and thinking of investing 50 to 100 bucks for a solid state drive and some more RAM is a good idea, then by all means go for it. Because honestly, from what it went to and from what it came from, I mean, it's a really good little laptop to just kind of have around especially if all you're really doing is just surfing the web, maybe checking emails. If you want to use it to go back and forth to school to take notes, by all means, I honestly think that just upgrading an older laptop like that, or even if you just bought one at like a yard sale or something would be a pretty good investment. If you're just going to use it to kind of, uh, you know, bring it to school, bring it to work, use it to surf the internet, look at YouTube videos, read text documents uh mm, you might be able to run lightroom actually i want to try and download lightroom onto that computer i might make another video if that does happen um but you might be able to run some like programs i don't think that you're going to be able to run anything crazy like i wouldn't be able to run premiere pro or davinci resolve to edit videos on you might be able to get away with editing photos but we'll see and on the other hand, I personally don't think that a laptop that is this weak and underpowered in terms of CPU being a two core 1.1 gigahertz chip is even worth much of anything unless you just plan to use it, like I said, to surf the web and stuff. Um, even after upgrading from the HDD to the solid state drive and throwing an extra eight gigabytes of RAM on top of the four gigabytes that's in it, it really didn't do a whole lot in the way of the performance. The SSD made loading the programs a little bit faster and the RAM has helped by handling more of the web pages being open and performing more than two or three tasks at a time. It is still lacking in power. And honestly, if the CPU was able to easily be replaced, then I would say yes. Then upgrading those three things, the CPU, the RAM, the HDD to an SSD would definitely revitalize an old laptop. But like I mentioned, it's just not as good in terms of the upgrades to the performance as I was hoping for myself. So just upgrading the RAM and just upgrading the SSD really, I was kind of hoping for more, a little disappointed, and it's mostly just because of that underpowered CPU. So with that being said, uh, I mean, I definitely have a pretty good little laptop for just lounging around the house with, I mean, honestly, 
you know, I, I invested, I think maybe, I think the eight gigabytes DDR3 was like, I don't know, maybe 15 bucks. And then on top of that, the solid state drive, I think was like another 50. So give or take with taxes and shipping. I mean, I spent just under a hundred bucks to basically revitalize a little old laptop. And honestly, it is kind of nice to just have something that isn't a desktop or I'm not staring at a very small phone screen. So, I mean, to just kind of like lounge around and just kind of use that little laptop to surf the internet and look at stuff on online, it's, it's nice. Um, like I said, I mean, I don't have to like boot up my PC and use that and sit in a chair. I can lay in my bed or I can sit on a couch and just kind of relax. Don't really have to like, you know, sit in a rigid little like computer editing chair type of thing. So, and sometimes just, you know, using the phone to like browse the web just doesn't really do it for me. I mean, it's cool to like check social media and stuff, but honestly, at the end of the day, it's nice to just have like a little laptop. So if you guys like this video, go ahead, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a share. If you didn't like this video, also give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. I'm Jordan, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.